Can we just take a moment to appreciate this beautiful sunrise somewhere in Asia Minor? It doesn't matter that there's a war going on that's gonna echo through the uh, <laughs> annals of history for at least 3,000 years. It doesn't matter, a lot of people are gonna die now. Just enjoy the moment and imagine having a picnic here amidst the dying screams of people because oh my god, we got a battle here between Phtaya and Lycia. Lycia commanded by Scorpion 078669, something like that. Pretty cool guy, and Phtaya commanded by Warrior of Athena. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. So for people who are not into Troy that much, let me just like briefly explain this through tactical. The plan of Phtaya, brute force punch through the infantry because Myrmidons and Renowned Spears are kick-ass, destroy with chariots and use the Centaur Champions and Aegean Runners to clean up the flanks. Like he in gameplay, abuse your javelins, abuse your wider army, envelop, flank, and try to destroy. Also, Corivantes. Did I say Corivantes? Yes, I did. So we get the armies moving up, and uh, Leki in general is starting to fire on the swordsmen and spears. He can actually do some pretty decent damage, and the Eastern Slingers are firing. Eastern Slingers will not do anything. They're just there to be a meat shield distraction. Call him what you want to call him for 280 you get what you get. Chariots are moving dangerously close towards the Lycian general, though. That might be bad if he actually gets caught. And we're seeing some javelins exchanged, but how bad is this gonna go? Well, look at this. They're actually starting to fire javelins on the reinforced chariots. They're taking so much damage. I gotta slow-mo this for a moment. This was a full HP chariot unit two wallies ago. They're getting devastated by the Kopesh javelins. They, oh my god. They still haven't lost any models, but this unit is practically gonna be decommissioned. On the right side, we're seeing Aegean runners connecting into renowned Kopesh fighters. That's not a fight they wanna take head on. On the flanks, sure, but the Corivantes are supporting them. But that's not all. Mervin and Swordsmen are coming in for another flank. We've got a pure madness here. Let's take a look at tactical. The melee lines are about to connect with heavy swordsmen and renowned flying spears. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty juicy. Heavy axe warriors. They are AP, they're able to trade kind of fine into flying spears and heavy swords, but still. Phtaya does have the quality. But we got renowned Kopesh fighters coming in for the flank here on the heavies. They're not gonna be able to do that much, the Myrmidons here. They're getting destroyed. Centaurs are going after here. They're moving around. They're probably gonna try to chase the general now. Giant champions coming in for a flank with more Kopesh fighters. This is gonna be the end of Phtaya on this flank. Renowned spears are not gonna be able to do anything. The Kopesh dudes are just gonna massacre them. Yeah. They're getting butchered. On the right flank, the Corivantes are tanking the Myrmidon Swordsmen. This is one of the matchups where Myrmidon Swordsmen can actually lose because Corivantes are disgustingly tanky, unbreakable, and their formation really helps them good. Now, Phtaya gets a rear charge here onto the rear charging Kopesh fighters, who in turn, the Aegeans get charged by Corivantes. It's just maneuvering everywhere. And the weakened chariots are passing by, the weakened chariots are not doing anything. They're just sadly not doing anything. Slow-mo, tactical view for a moment. The Lycian general is getting chased by the Centaur champions. He is a non-factor. This guy, nothing through the battle, but same for the Centaurs. They've effectively eliminated the general's aura of influence and damage capabilities. The right flank is a snooze fest that the Myrmidons are slowly starting to lose. The center, the Phtaians are punching through the center without any issues, but the flanks are where the problems are gonna start. Achilles and Renowned Spears, no problem destroying stuff. The Kopesh fighters are losing hard here, but on the left side, they're getting overwhelmed. The chariots are stuck. The chariots pretty much braved their last breath. Phtaian Spears routing, swordsmen are about to rout the left flank completely collapsed. The center is in Phtaian favor. The right side, it looks a little bit even, but I'm pretty sure Phtaia is gonna lose this one on that side. And Achilles pops his Aristea. He's ready to destroy the one-man army. The guy who everybody wants to see destroy everything. Will he actually get the kill? Well, no, because of animations. That's pretty depressing. 
The Chariots, they're getting run down by Corivantes. Nothing more they can do with the left flank since they're pretty much wiping up the Phthians. They're just gonna center on killing Achilles and the renowned Phthian Spears. And the right flank is gonna be a little bit of a slugfest. We got the Aegean Runners getting a massive Javelin volley into the Corivantes. Aegean Runners are one of the best units in the game, in my opinion, if used in their intended role. Disgusting flanking and Javelin abuse. Look at that. For such a cheap unit, they're actually able to inflict massive damage to the Corribantis, but will it be enough? Well, I don't think this is enough to turn the tide of the battle. It is great micro, don't get me wrong, it's a great use of the unit, but... Um, the rest of the Phthian forces are very badly damaged. Achilles is fighting on, but Lycia has quality and quantity with the Kopesh fighters here, so... Pretty sure this is gonna be it for Phthia, but... Will I be proven wrong? I hope I do get proven wrong. Achilles just casually chilling here versus the Giants. Who will win? A uh, person who is gigantic in name or people who are actually gigantic? Nah. Anticlimatic. Well, the army is pretty much getting cleaned up here. Not much to say. Phtaya kinda got wiped. And Achilles is just gonna be the last man standing, no problem, fighting till the end of the world. Or until we fast forward, because there's absolutely no point in seeing Achilles die for one minute without killing more than, like, five people, sadly. Good game to both players, it was pretty fun to watch. Now, let's take a look at the kill score. Alright, so we're finally here, let's go from Lycia. The Skirmisher General did, let's be honest, he did a little bit of damage at the start to the Swords and Renowned Spears, but overall he did nothing. He did manage to delay the Centaurs from doing anything for the battle, so damage-wise, irrelevant, impact-wise, actually he helped a ton. When it comes to Heavy Axe Warriors, considering their matchup, they're not supposed to beat anything on the Phtian side in this battle, but they did fantastic with their AP, considering how bad they actually are, they traded pretty fine. Renowned Kopesh fighters, absolutely amazing this game. They obliterated the chariots, they traded quite fine into the Phtian troops, and at the end of the day, they carried the game pretty hard. Eastern Slingers, we do not talk about Eastern Slingers. Corivantes, amazing job. Tanking Myrmidons like it's nothing, destroying infantry like it's nothing, truly demigods. And Giants did pretty great when they crashed into the spears from the flank, as you would expect. On the Phtian side, Achilles did a lot of killing, but could he have done more? Of course he could. Still fine though. Too bad the Aristea just... It desynced with his animations, he didn't get enough value out of it. It was a good time to pop it, but animations did not help. Aegean Runners did not get as many kills, but you gotta remember, a lot of the jabs went into something like Corivantes or Renowned Kopesh Fighters. Considering they're much cheaper, Aegean Runners did fine, still not good enough. Heavy Swordsman, good. Renowned Phtian Spears. What you see is what you get, you know those guys are killers. They still manage to trade quite fine and do a lot of kills. Myrmidon Swordsman, one of them fantastic, the other one not so much. This is not cost efficient. This is cost efficient. Chariots, sadly, you saw what happened. Obviously, if the Chariots were allowed to actually do something this battle, I'm pretty sure we could have seen a different outcome, because Reinforced Chariots are great, and the melee line of Taya held out long enough for the Chariots to actually do work, but sadly, they got a lot of jabs to the face. And the same for Centaur Champions, they got distracted chasing the General, which was fine, but they didn't kill him, they didn't cause the morale penalty, and they didn't use their superior mobility to actually crush Lycia. Like, yeah. It is what it is, great game, well played to both players, and until the next time, well, uh, hey, stick around, there's gonna be a lot more Troy and Warhammer, and a lot of mythology.